Well, I grew up seeing in Chilean television the only cultural program that exists. Um, and that, was, that program was made by Augusto Góngora, the protagonist of this film. And that program was my first approach with cinema and documentaries. A few years earlier, Augusto was part of a group of a few journalists that they made clandestine newscasts during dictatorship to report on everything that was happening in the country. They report the fragility, the things that we were not allowed to see, and the pain situations that we never see uh, in the official television. Uh, the same courage and boldness that he had to shoot that image was the co courage that he has to say yes to make his, this film and show his own fragility. Paulina, his wife, uh, told me that his most biggest, biggest act of consequence was for him to say yes to this film because for him a registry should exist even against all odds. I learned so much doing this film. I learned that there is not only one way to be a couple and one way to experience love. I hope that you will enjoy this film as much as I enjoy to share a piece of their life with them. Thank you. Of course that I know him for all my life because he were both public figures but and he was really open with his disease for the first moment he made an open interview in a big uh, magazine in Chile so everybody knows that he has Alzheimer but I was hired to make a master class in a university where Paulina worked she was the director of the career and when I arrived to teach, she was there because she hires me and Augusto was sitting as a student with all the students and she allows him to be in the class and to make questions and to interact and was super normal for her and they uh, seems really in love all the time and I thought like in, in, a, in any other case it can be uncomfortable <laughs> or it's like if I bring uh, my son to a uh, workplace it's weird but she com i realized that she completely integrated him to her personal and work life all the time and i was surprised of that because for was very particular for me i shoot at people with dementia many times by i but i usually see people isolated from society not so integrated so that moved me for the first moment and I start trying to combine them and it was very difficult. It took me a while because Paulina didn't want it. She was like very <laughs> radical with her no. And he was very convinced that we have to make the film. And he combined her and he was super. And she's saying now like it was so consequent for him. It was so clear for the best first moment for him. He told us like, I, I shoot so many fragility, why I'm not going to show my own fragility, why are you embarrassed of my problems if I cannot move well, uh, and he was so, so, so convinced that at the end uh, she was convinced, and now she's very proud of taking that decision, I'm very happy with the film, mm -hmm. I, I wanted to be with them the most time that I could. And at, and at the end, the end was super clear. The, the last image of the film, the last conversation is the last scene that, that we shot. That was a moment that he clearly said, I am not anymore, or I am not the one that I am used to be. And he, he felt that he was not there. And for me, it was the first time that after four years, that I felt uncomfortable to be there because he felt uncomfortable and for Paulina it was the same so it was for both of us super clear 
that was that was the end of the film. Yeah. So the question is about the concept of memory and the concept of identity, because he uh, worked a lot on that concept of memory, and we saw that. Too. Yeah, I started making a film about love, and I am making a film about love and memory because he was concerned about memory all his life. So it's not, uh, for me, it's not about Alzheimer's, it's about uh, what things remind in the body, what things do you never forget, uh, because he's trying to keep memories all the time. And you can see in the films, there are things that he never forgets, historical things and pers personal things that are still a pain for him in in his body and and I think that the last speech that he made for me has the point of view of the film that he gave me as a gift because that archive appeared very late in the in the editing and is he saying like we have to construct our morning thinking the things that they're still a pain, it's not numbers, it's not about commemorations, it's about uh, how move us to construct historical memory. So historical memory, it's completely crossed by love and pain too. Like you can only remember the things that you feel. So that is what he's saying in that speech. And for me, it's the meaning of the film too. It's important to say too, that it's exceptional because it's also an act of love to decide in which moments do you need to institutionalize someone because you cannot continue taking care of him or her anymore. So it's, it's complex and, and this love and she is very exceptional because her personality is also uh, in that mood all the time, like she is still taking care of him alone and he's bedridden and terminally ill and she's continue the main caregiver in the house so yeah it's it's a very specific situation <laughs>